up some barbecue for you. T-Roy's chilling in the backyard grilling, showing you that you can cook it too. Always with the beer or whiskey, but he cooks responsibly. Hey everybody, welcome to the T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us again today. Folks, we're gonna do some rotisserie chicken for you on my Gabby's Grill. Now, this is my second Gabby's Grill. I loaned my original one that y'all have seen me use in the past. Loaned that to Justin over at Baby Back Maniac. He's had it for, I don't know, a month or two, and uh, I've been, been really missing it, and he's really been loving it. So I was like, dude, just, just keep that one, man. I'll give me another one. So I did, ordered another one, and this one, same size as the old one, 22 and a half inch, fits my kettle, but I got the roti rotisserie attachment. And we're gonna do some rotisserie chicken on it for you today. I've got some pecan wood getting fired up as we speak. Let's get that bird seasoned up and put it on a pit. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, my six and a half pound bird is right here. I'm gonna throw a little bit of olive oil on it. Just to kind of help give it a little color as it cooks and also to help keep that rub on here that we're gonna use. There we go. A bit on the inside. Now what I'm using today uh, Code 3 Spices. This is their grunt rub. It's basically a, uh, like a salt, pepper, garlic type rub. It smells fantastic. It's got some big chunks. I don't know if you can see them all in there, but big chunks. Code3Spices.com. It's veterans, man. Y'all go help the veterans out. All right, we're going to just coat this bird down pretty good on all sides and also in the cavity, okay? So let me get that done. We'll bring you right back showing you putting it on the spit. All right, folks, this is the spit that you get with it. I think it's about a 30 inch long, something like that. It's got a counterweight on it, and it's got two of these forks. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke it through the bird here. Oh, look, I don't know if I can show you up close, but on each end here, look, it's got bushings on each end that are round and help that thing spin on these attachments. See, it's got three different levels that you can put this on. On each side, there's three to three of these. So it just kind of sits there and spins, spins on that bushing on both sides. I'm going to put the bushing on over there once we put the bird on. First things first, let's go ahead and get that bird on. There we go. Try to center it up best you can. Something like that maybe. Alright. Let's get the other tiny. Let's go on with this one. Yeah, see, I need to move this over a little bit more I think. There we go. So what you want to do, you want to try to center it. Center it in here. So I need to go a little bit more. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Tighten her down. So we can get this one going here. Tighten it down. So I can find a good place to put it. Let's try it a different way here. That may work right there. All right. Now, wipe my hands. And I'm not gonna worry about tying up those legs or anything. Now we got this other bushing. Now I already pre-marked where this bushing needs to go for it to be pretty accurately on there. Driver. Come on, T-boy. Is that right? No, it needs to go this way. Yeah, it goes on that way. So the smaller diameter part of the bushing goes on the inside. And what that does, it locks, locks the spit, you know, so it doesn't move side to side. Now I also need to put this on. This is for the motor, basically to stop the motor from spinning. If I remember how this goes on there. Another thing, when you lift up, lift up your grill. I guess you don't have to. If you wanted to cook, you could lift it up. Yeah, we're gonna lift it up because I'm gonna be adding some wood. Let's go ahead and put it up all the way. Just like that. See if I can get this thing on here. It's a pre-drilled hole over here. Look at that pot. Maybe should have put this on before. Before the, uh, before the fire was going. Let's see if I can just get this going here. Come on now. Alright. 
Got it the wrong way. Come on, keep boy. Get it straight, boy. Yeah, it's hot, boy. There it goes. All right, doesn't have to be super tight. But you can take it off. Got my motor right here. Sorry, it's taking me a while, folks. This is my first time doing this. I just bear with me. All right, that's going to go right there. We're going to put it on the top for now. I have to come in just a little bit with this bushing. Come out just a little bit. I mean, there we go. All right, make sure those bushings are tight. Not super tight, but, you know, so that they're fitting in the groove, the little thing here. There we go. All right. Get the motor going. See if we can set the, uh, see if we can set this thing right here. Where's this thing going to be heaviest at? Probably heaviest on that side. Right? So I'm going to spin this thing this way. Yeah, that'll work. Works for me. Close enough, anyway. Okay. Turn your motor on. See, hang on. See, I done messed up. Hang on. I'll fix it real quick. This needs to go the other way. Come on. Come on, T-Roy. Y'all bear with me, folks. I told you, I ain't hooked this up before my first time. But, I'm going to show you how to do it. Spin this baby around a little bit. Like that. Now, now I bet we're good. Now, that thing will spin around, and when it hits this stop, then it'll start spinning the spit. Y'all watch. At least that's what I think. There we go. This thing does come, the, the motor, let me get up here where I can see you guys. The motor comes with a DC power supply. Um, I'm using two Nine, not nine volt. Big D size batteries, two of them. Anyway, we'll check on it here in a little bit. Rotisserie chicken, man, it's gonna be good. All right, quick update, guys. Let me zoom you in over here and see what's going on. See how that motor over here, it was really flopping out a while ago? Well, I noticed that I had these tines more on one side, like this top side or bottom side, I guess the bottom side down here of the bird. So what I did, back you back out. It's starting to sprinkle, my camera getting wet anyway. I pulled the tines back out of the bird and I kind of centered the tines in the bird meat, okay? So instead of the tines being more on the backbone side or, or more on the breast side, I centered them up, all right? There you go. And to do that, I had to lift the spit up with the bird on it because you know, the bird was sitting in that pan. So I lifted the spit up a little bit and that allowed me to center the spit within the cavity of the bird and then close the tines in on it, hook it back up. And as you can see, that motor over here, watch it. It is not moving very much. There you go. All right, and another thing, once you have your bird on there, what you want to do is go ahead and season it up just a little bit, touch it up. Yeah, there we go. Just touch it up as it spins. You still got some of that uh, olive oil on there, so that olive oil is going to help a lot of that stick. That's looking pretty good. All right, we'll rock and roll for a little bit like that. And folks, we'll catch y'all back in a little bit. Oh, check this out, look. Y'all see back back here? See that red top, tabletop thing? That's my new uh, camp chef that I bought. So I can cook outside for you guys. It's a double burner, propane burner. You'll be seeing that on some videos coming up too. Anyway, we'll check on this bird in a little bit. Y'all stay tuned. All right, folks, a couple of things. It's been two and a half hours this has been cooking. I think it's pretty close to being done. Uh, I'm going to throw another log on. And I ran out of uh, pecan wood, so I'm using cherry. Stick that in there. Every 15, 20 minutes, what you want to do is push 
the motor back on the spit because this thing's not attached to anything. See, it's not attached to anything. Make sure you keep that on your spit, otherwise the motor will fall. Another thing, I was running this off of two AA batteries and it lasted about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. I had to plug in the actual power cord, okay? She's running fine now, but after about an hour, 15, 20 minutes, battery went dead. So this thing sucks up some battery juice. Let's, uh, let's stop it. Stop it on the, uh, the breast side. And then we'll check it and see what the internal temp is here. Let's see what we got. Boy, she's juicy. 164 right there. Let's check a leg. Not. Let's get down in the oyster right there. There you go. 156. So we still got a little bit left to go to the legs. And you can tell the legs, they're getting kind of tender, but they're not tender all the way yet. Oh, and after about a half hour, I noticed the legs and the wings were just flopping crazy. So I went ahead and got some butcher twine. I tied up both the wings and the, uh, the legs. Anyway, I'm going to keep feeding them some wood about every half hour, 40 minutes or so. And um, we're going to keep it going. And again, remember to push that motor on there about every 15, 20 minutes. Hey folks, it's been about another 10 minutes or so. She's looking really good. But I wanted to show you how you transition between the three different levels here. So let me turn this thing off here whenever this weight gets down to the bottom here. That's close enough. Take the motor off. Get something to handle to hold this spit because it's pretty hot. You can put it on that level like that, or you can go all the way down with it. This is the lowest level right here. So three different levels. Thought I'd put it on the lowest level just for another 10, 15 minutes, and that's going to uh, help crisp up that skin just a little bit. Get this baby start rocking and rolling like that catch you back here in about another 10-15 minutes and we'll check temp again. Be right back. Alright guys, this skin is looking absolutely gorgeous. I'll go ahead and turn this thing off. Let's probe it one more time and see where we're at. I know that the breast is done. Let's try a little bit of the leg. 165. We're done. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing off. You can see that grease dripping on there? <laughs> yeah, that'll start your nice fire going there. All right, pull this baby off, and we're going to, oh, there we go. I'm gonna take it off the spit, and we're going to let it rest tinted for, I don't know, half hour or so. We'll bring y'all back, check it out. We had this resting in foil tinted for about a half an hour. I went ahead and removed the butcher twine that I had on there to kind of hold the legs and wings together. Let's cut into it. Let's see what she looks like. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can remove one of these wings here well she's tender I'll tell you that there we go all right there's the wing meat that looks mighty fine right there a tender doggy yeah that piece for me mm. all right let's check out some of this breast mm. here we go let's see what she look like Oh yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go, folks. Tender as all get out. Nice, juicy. Hope y'all can see that. Mm-hmm. All right, let's give this a try, man. All right, folks. We're gonna check a little bit of the outside piece because I want some of the skin. I want some of that rub that's on there. Skin's nice and crispy, not fatty at all. That meat's super tender, folks. Mm. Look, <coughs> Fifi, it's enough. Fifi's hungry, y'all. Anyway, look, just falling apart. Super tender. It's really juicy, too. That's what I love about rotisserie cooking. The meat's spinning around, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically basting in its own juices as it spins. And I know Booger's watching. Y'all go check her out. 
Burger 500 US uh, air fryer recipes, I think. Anyway, I'll put the link down below. I'll put it up here for you, Burger. I'll give a wing a try. Yeah, let's do that. Here's to you, Burger. Love you, girl. Mmm. My gosh. That's some fine, y'all. Hang on, Fifi. I'll give you some in a minute, girl. All right, I gotta go feed the dogs. I'm gonna break the rest of this down, make some chicken and dumplings for the wife. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Love the Gabby's Grill with the rotisserie. If you haven't tried rotisserie cooking, give it a shot, folks. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Super, ju super, super juicy, not over smoked. Good times. But again, hope you enjoyed it. Give me some thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about all this. Hope you share the video, and when you do, please tell all your friends. Oh. Hang on. Fire and water cooking. Y'all go check out my, my, my good friend Darren, all right? He's a young channel, but he's got some great videos. He does sous feed and everything. There you go, fire and water cooking. Go check him out. And Darren, thanks for the hat, man. So again, hope y'all share the video. When you do, please tell all your friends. T-Roy Cooks, responsible. Cheers, everybody.